Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Vlad. Today um, I will show you how to create a construction app under 20 minutes. I'm on the Snappy website right now um, and we'll go to create a new app. We support two different modes how you can create an app. One of them is express mode. It's super easy. You namely can create any app in under 20 minutes based on some ready-made templates we created for you. There are more than 200 templates you can use um, in 24 industries. So you can just select one of them and modify it according to your specific needs. It's really fast and easy to use. In addition, we have Guru Mode, which provides more flexibility. It's for creating custom apps. You can also connect your app to external databases, uh, web services, and you have a total UI control over your application. Today, we'll see how to create an app in Express Mode. So I will start in Express Mode. The webinar is being recorded, so in case you want to watch it again, you can request that link and we'll send it to you. Also, at the end of our webinar, you will be able to ask questions and I will be happy to answer them. So, here in this screen, you can select one from 250 templates, but actually we, we have more templates 289 and this library is growing all the time as we add more templates in different industries. Today we'll create a construction app so I will go directly to construction group. Here we have 73 ready-made templates so it's quite popular. Uh, one of our popular apps is construction data log so I would pay attention to it today and we'll customize it. You just select it. You can see some screenshots from this app as well as read some short description or, or what it allows to do. First of all, it allows to create daily work logs and report them via email, upload your reports to cloud drives and print them. Um, you can also sync collected information across multiple devices. Uh, and what is more important, it can work offline. So you can collect information in the field and then report when you have internet connection. Or just report it and the information will be sent once your device gets connected to the internet connection. Let's select it and continue. The next step is to select a specific color style we support different colors. You can just pick one and continue. Now the Express Editor is loading. Okay, so the construction daily log is in our account and we can start customizing it. On the right you can see the tabs which are in this template. This one is Reports, RSS, Notification, and Logout tab. We can go inside each form and see what we have inside. We can easily customize this form to meet our additional needs. For this, you just need to go to Edit Form, and it will open the Express Form Editor, which is really simple. You will see the fields which are already available in this form. You can easily drag and drop them. So the order will change. In addition, you can add any field available here on the left. So right now, this form includes four different pages. I would like to add page 5 and add a couple of fields to it. Let's say that we want to capture audio, video, and probably add some drawings 
while we are in the field. And we may want to add multiple, just add videos multiple times. So I will add multiple multi-line entry. Just click once on it and it will be added right to our form. Now I can go inside the multi-line entry and add a couple of more fields into it, like audio capture, video capture, take photo, um, signature or drawing control, and let's say file upload, just to attach any file we have. In addition, you can add name, gender, address, email, phone number, website, just anything you may need for your form. Now we can click exit and save our form. Okay, um, so now if we open the form, we can see that page number five appeared and we have a multi-line entry into it. We can double click on it and see the fields we have just added. Our platform is really flexible and what is more important, you can easily preview the changes you just make in the express mode. So I will try to connect my device to show you how the form looks like on a device. I will use a reflector to show my, my iPad. Okay, so you, you should be able to see my iPad right now and I will enter the app ID which we are working on. Okay, now load. Okay, now we can see our app right on the device and go inside the new daily report form. So you can scroll down and see all the information you can capture. And now we will save it again just to see our fifth page in it. Just a second. Okay, well, our app was saved. Now we can go and refresh the app on our device. Okay, let's go to new daily report form again. And now you can see that we have five pages instead of four. So we can see page number five and our multi-line entry. So we can tap add and add an audio or record a video if needed. Add a picture. We can select it from our existing library or just take a picture. You can sign a drawer right in your app. Or you can upload any file it will connect to your cloud drive and you'll be able to upload a PDF or Word document or anything you have. So right now it connects to my Dropbox account and I can select any file and just attach it to the form. You can go back and add another file right here.
Okay, let's save it. Now we have two entries in the list, and we need to fill in some more details at, at the beginning of our form, like date, contractor, let's say project name. This form also provides some calculations, so you can go to workforce and labor and just add some information to calculate. So for labor, it can be lead. For work hours, you can type in the number of hours, as well travel hours, let's say one hour. Save it. Go back again and add another entry right into here. Test 2. Label. This time I will use tech, total hours 10, and travel hours 2, let's say. In the next page, we calculate the total of hours, so you don't need to calculate it yourself. The app will do it for you. When you think that you are ready to save the form, you can go to the last page and just click Save and Send button. Okay, well, the form is being submitted right now. Our report was successfully submitted and now it will generate a PDF and Excel report. So this one is an Excel file. This is how it looks. You can click Share at the top right corner and upload it to any cloud drive or print this Excel file. Or you can easily switch to PDF view. This is how PDF looks. So it provides all information we have captured during the webinar. And also what is helpful here, you can go to completed forms and it will list all reports you create during the day. So you can go back, let's say at the end of the day, just remove it or click edit and see the information you have collected, make more changes and save it again. It's really helpful in case you missed anything or weather condition changed or anything. As well, you can track your GPS location on the map and add it to the form as well. Okay, let's return to the Express Editor. What other changes you can make in the app? You can go to the Settings button. It's right here, the gear icon and see what information you can update in the app. It can be tab settings. Um, so you can upload a different icon for the tab. We have a library of pre-built tabs you can use. Let's say OK. OK, now you can see that the icon has changed. You can also update the name instead of report. You can say log. Under user types, you can specify who can use and see this form. It can be anonymous user or logged in user if you want to use a login form. You can upload, the, uh, upload a specific image for this logo if you don't like it or you want to rebrand the app. As well, you can customize some form settings like add your email address or some recipients here, one under another and you will be emailed reports to your email address. You specify here. The file formats we support currently are PDF, Word document, Excel file, and email body. So you can use them all right away or just one of them. It's up to you what you would like to use. So once you uh, completed the form, you can think about more tabs which will be helpful for your app. For this, you may go to New Tab Settings. Here we have a library of pre-built tabs you may reuse for your own app. As we are creating a construction app, 
I would go to construction industry. You can scroll down and see how many pre-made tabs we already have and just reuse any of them. Let's say that you want to add a construction estimate, estimation manager. Just click on it and read some details. It will allow you to create estimates right, with your mobile device and send them to anywhere. It also provides some pictures so you can see it before you add it to the app. Let's add it. Okay. Also, we provide some specific calculators you may reuse, like bridge calculator or concrete calculator, room size calculator. Let's say that we want to use a room size calculator. Again, you can preview some screenshots from this app and read some description about it. Once you add a tab, the settings open right away so you can see what can be modified in this tab. And again, you can easily switch the order of tabs in your app. Let's go back to the device to see what changes we have made. Okay, now you can see that two new tabs appeared. They are on the bottom and room size calculator here too. Okay, so you can see that it performs some calculations. It's really easy. You don't need to modify anything. Everything is working already. And you can see some results and send these calculations to anyone by using this form. Once your app is completed, you can share it with your coworkers or friends. Um, for this, you need to publish your app. So just click publish. and you will get to this screen. You can publish your app in two different ways. You can make it public, so it will be submitted to public Apple App Store and Google Play, and anyone will be able to download it from there. Or you can submit it privately um, for your internal usage only inside organization. Okay, well, let me refresh the browser. I will go to my account and open the app again. I'm going to share the app we have just created with anyone who registered for this webinar. We have a specific option for it, which is called Invite Users. And I have a list of users who registered. I will upload it from my desktop. Okay, so 84 people will get this email with a link and they will be able to install our Snappy Preview app from the Apple or Google Play and see the same app we have just created under 20 minutes. Okay, so the emails were added. Now I can click Invite. And now I will use private option to publish my app as a private one.
Okay, well, it may take a while. Um, so basically, that's it. Um, this is how you can easily create any construction app. And now it's a high time for asking questions. Just raise your hand and I will unmute you so you'll be able to talk to me and ask your question. Just don't be shy and ask any questions you have. Okay, well, El Sayed, a live feed. Yeah, hey, hello. Yeah, hi. Yeah, um, I was checking your um, website online, and I found like a lot of uh, applications for uh, construction fields. Like, for example, one of them is Construction App Manager, and the other one, Daily Log. Can I merge the feature of these two applications all together in one app? as it's important to us on site work, like to have the features mentioned in there as the timesheet, for example, which is mentioned in the construction management app, and the maintenance log, and the uh, daily log form, let's say. So can I merge the two features of these two applications to have one app at the end mm -hmm. um, that uh, provides all features, or I can't? Uh, yeah, sure, you can. Again, you need to go to New tab and find the specific mm -hmm. tabs right here. Um, I think you will find something which will match your criteria. Just select a construction industry or any other industries available here. So you were interested in construction manager. I think we have something yeah. here. Um, so for example, construction calculators were taken from the construction manager. Yeah, what about the timesheet if it's available in this tab? Yeah, right here. So you can see the construction timesheet oh, form. Okay. Yeah, just Good. click perfect. Add button and it will be added to your app. So again, you can customize the order and add as many tabs as you need and make more changes to them. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, my last question would be, um, is there a feature uh, also to add to the application for uh, procurement? For example, if needed material in a site, uh, sometimes, like we need um, to process these uh, orders as fast as it, as it as it can be done. All right. So, can for example our foreman or our site engineer um, log into the application and just submit a list of the uh, material he wants that will reach our recruitment team here inside the uh, headquarters and then process the order for him? Or um, this isn't supported? Mm, absolutely, it's supported. Um, you can create a new okay. form. Uh, for this, you need to go to New tab and just press okay. the first icon in the row. It's called New Form. Mm -hmm. Click Add. And here mm -hmm. it will open a blank form. You can start from scratch. So just, just add any fields. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So if you want to add multi multiple materials, just add a multi-line entry. And inside, add more information. Let's say um, text. So it can be product name. Uh, probably picture the quantity. So instead of Perfect. text type, it can be number. So you number. can type oh, in yeah. yeah product name, number, ten items, etc., and then submit it. And the text field name or the field name here is text field. Can I change that, for example, or it should remain as it is? Yeah, everything is customizable. So let's say that it's product now. Okay, this oh, one will be an amount. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. as you click Apply button, you can see the changes right in your form. Again, just change the order, and you'll create any form you need. It's really just a couple of seconds to add several yeah. fields. That's, that's amazing. Thank you. That's for me. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so... Um, Let's move on. What other questions do you have? Come on, guys. Once you subscribe to our platform, you get 14 days as a free trial. So feel free to check out our platform. And then if you want to stay with us, it's just $5 per user per month.
So it's really cheap. In addition, you can use a chat option right here and just write your questions. In the chat window, I will check the questions there as well. Okay, I see a question. How can I modify the app if I need more changes, more functionality? Um, you can easily switch between Express and Guru modes right in the Express editor. Just click on Guru mode and you will see the same controls but in a different manner so you can just drag and drop any element from it right to the screen and it will open the settings of this control. This is how you can customize it. Okay, well, Elsie, do you have any other questions? I see that you yeah, raised your I hand. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, you mentioned now that after we uh, create the application, we have two ways, either to submit it to the App Store or the Google Play or otherwise a private one. Mm -hmm. So um, my question is about the private way. How does it work? Like if I send the mail invitation to the group of users, will they be able to download the app and install it on their devices or how they will work on it in this way? Okay, so when you go to invite users, you add some email addresses like I did. Mm -hmm. um, this email will be sent right to all specified emails. They will get mm -hmm. um, some text and the link to our mm -hmm. Snappy Preview app. Then they will download mm -hmm. it. The Snappy Preview app, it's free in the App Store and Google Play. And they will need to register in that preview app by using this email address and any passwords they would like to use. Once they log in to the Snappy Preview, they will see your app on their device. So once you make any more changes to your app, you can send an update to them. So they will go back to the app, click refresh button, and we'll see the changes you make. So this way you can share any updates you make your to your app across multiple users at any time. So it's really flexible. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Thank you for that. Okay. You're welcome. Thanks. Any other questions, guys? I would also like to say that we provide webinars every Tuesday and to see what webinars are coming just go to join our workshop here just press on it and you'll be able to join um, a next webinar or just preview some webinars we have already held right here so we have we provide some videos so if you, if you are interested in different industries like restaurant or dental industry, you may watch them too. <clears throat> Hi, Alex. Yes, uh, good morning. I apologize for coming in uh, towards the end of your presentation. That's okay. You can watch it later. We record it. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, uh, we can hear. Just go okay. ahead. Uh, yes, um, my, uh, my question to you is, um, can you give me a synopsis on how to create an app for a company like mine. I'm a general contractor. I provide construction services 
and I also provide facility maintenance services for various clients at the federal, state, and local municipalities. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, you can go to our page where we provide ready-to-meet templates. They are under express mode and if you click start express mode you will see all templates we have created. And here you can go into one of our categories. For example, construction, which provides 70 free ready to meet templates. You may reuse any of them. You can start just with one of them and add more tabs later. It's really flexible. So Okay. Uh, what I'm look, what you're showing me here are each of those are each of those apps. Yep. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, we have about 300 apps um, which are suitable for 24 industries. You may reuse any of them and add additional stuff. They are really. I noticed that customized. most of these are for inspections, inspection of work. Is that correct? Yeah, we have a specific industry for inspections. Let me show it to you. Yeah, so you can see that inspection is the most popular industry we have. It provides more than 100 uh, templates to use. And yeah. it can be inspection of anything, just elevator inspection, workflow safety, hospitality. So they, they can belong to any industry, actually. Okay, and so um, how would I, as a contractor, have access to those apps? Um, well, you can just register on our website and you will get a free trial for 14 days. So you can play with any of these templates absolutely free. You can invite users to try your app, um, like I showed. Uh, so you can invite any users by adding their email address and they will install your app right on their iOS or Android device and play with it, submit information, collect information based on what you will add to your template. Okay. Um, okay, so what do I have to sign up for this or how does that work? Yep. So here well, if I log out, you can sign up. Just go to our website. It's freew.snappy.com. Uh, okay. And then just click sign up button. Add a couple of okay. fields, just like first name, company, email, and password, and sign up. Then you will get a verification email. Um, you will subscribe to Snappy. You will get a free trial, and then you'll be able to log in and just create a new app from scratch. You will see the same screen as I'm doing right now. You'll be able to try the express mode or guru mode and test your app on your device. What's the difference between the guru and the uh, express mode? Express mode is um, easier. So. I would advise you to start with express mode. It provides some okay. templates as I showed. Uh, also, it's quicker and faster. If you need more flexibility or connect to external database and some additional features, you will need to go to guru mode. So you can check any of them because it's really easy to switch between express to guru and from guru to express. So you don't have any limitations. So for five dollars a month, I have access to download and build apps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, there, there's one particular requirement, and I think uh, I, I think I'm understanding how your product works for me. In in saying that. If I have a need or if I have a process um, either to track paperwork or to track work or um, there's, there's a need for me to be more efficient. And in my case, my need is I'm also uh, involved in providing uh, uh, proposals 
price quotes. I go out on site uh, on the customer's request and I fill out a price quote on how much it will cost the customer for me to provide the service. Mm -hmm. And what I'm having to do is to go out on site once, take a look at the requirement, come back to my office, and then sit down and generate the quote from uh, QuickBooks and then send it to my customer. And in doing that, it could take two or three days, but I'd like to do it on the spot right there, create the quote on the spot using an app and then have send that to the customer. Is that something that's already created as an app or is that something I may have to create? Yeah, this is exactly what SAP is for. You can eliminate paperwork and just replace your paper forms with digital forms to save time, to save paper and money. So, and during this webinar, I have added the estimate form. I want to show you this um, right on my iPad. If I go to the estimate form, Right here, I can upload some information which is required for the estimate, including location, company logo, who is the estimator, the date of estimation. I can add some pictures and add materials. Or the uh, hold, hold. Can you go back. Can you go back up? You said that uh, you said you can add items input some items. Uh, we, we have three items, either material cost, labor cost, or equipment rental cost. Mm -hmm. when, and add items, is that the location to do that? Well, location is just for tracking your GPS location on a map. So you, you can open it and add your existing location or it will be identified automatically Let's say New York. Uh huh. Search. And it will open it. And uh, can I do this on a uh, can I do this on an Android tablet? Yeah. You can create it uh, in the editor and it will work on any Android and iOS device, both smartphones and tablets. So there are no okay. limitations. So you can see that okay. New York and the red pin which shows our location. You can add a company logo. Uh, let me add it as well. Estimator. Estimation number. Um, let me add a couple of items right here. Like labor materials, subs, item. So you can select from multiple choices or add your own at the end. Okay. Wow. Some additional costs. And, uh, is there, are these, uh, these items I'm inputting, can they be saved in a database? Yep. You can connect to your database and just retrieve that information instead of typing it in. And you can see at the end of the form we calculated the total, which is $577. We can save it and it will also calculate the total cost. So you can go back again and add more materials. And it will keep calculating it as a total. And add her. Okay. And now save. Now you can see that the total cost has changed to five hundred dollars and ninety-seven. And at the end, your client may sign the document and click save and send. Now it should generate a file, which we can upload to Cloud Drive, or you can print it right away your wireless printer. So it's been submitted right now, it was submitted and now we will see it on our device. So this is how the quote looks like. It provides all information we have captured 
like the numbers, the signature, the total cost, subtotal cost, etc. Our location. And this PDF can be customized according to your needs. So if you use a specific format, a specific layout, it can be created on the Snappy platform as well. So you will have exactly the same paper form as you are using now, but it will be digital. So that's the idea. So that's the uh, that's the the printed outcome of the uh, that's the actual quote. Yep. Um, can it be can it be formatted into um, a quote into a letterhead format with the company's logo on it? Yeah, sure. Just any changes will be fine. So let's say that instead of that black background image at the top, it will show your company logo. It will okay. have your company location or address, just anything. Yeah, okay. it can be customized. Then it, it'll show this image and then it'll show the company's logo, you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, and then... Yeah. So what I see is what it will print out. Yep, you can print it out or you can email it to your client or you can upload it to Cloud Drive like Dropbox, a box for future reference. Just not okay. to keep them as a paper what do you, files. What do you call that program? An estimate program? Mm, sorry? What's the name of that app you just showed oh. me? Estimate? Yeah, uh, it's construction estimator and bidding app. Okay, uh, esti it's a construction estimator and bidding app. Yeah, exactly. And by the okay. way, we have this app in the Apple and Google Play Store, so you can download it and check it out, play with it, and then you can copy it into your account right from our live app and play with it in the editor already. Okay, uh, let me make sure I understand what you're saying. That uh, the construction estimator and bidding app mm -hmm. that can be downloaded out of Google's uh, Play Store mm -hmm. or uh, Apple's Play Store, or I can come online here and download it from Snappy. Mm -hmm. Yep, both ways are am fine. I, yep. Am I obligated to pay a certain amount per year to do this program, or is it a month to month? Uh, we charge five dollars per user per month after your free trial is over. Yeah. So I sign up and I just get a pay per month of usage each month. Okay. Well, when you sign up, you will get fourteen days for free. So you can create your app during this time and then subscribe and just pay five dollars per user if you will be alone who use who will use this app. Oh. If you need oh, to uh, share it with anyone, trial. Yeah, for trial you have no limitations. Just play with the app, share it with anyone. Yeah, just customize and create anything you need. Right. How long is the free trial? Fourteen days. Okay. All right. I I think what I'm going to do is sign up and then play with some of the apps. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you said I can download them onto my phone or my tablet from my desktop, or do I need to go on my phone or my tablet to download the apps onto these, each device? Uh, it's up to you what is convenient for you. Okay, awesome. And then what kind of uh, what kind of self help? Uh, uh, what kind of help support do you have? So you can go to resources page right right here. We provide a lot of helpful materials on it, so you can see some uh, questions answered in forum. You can read our FAQ, our user manual, which is a detailed description of the Snappy editor. You can also click live chat, and one of our support person will be chatting with you, so you can ask your questions online. You can also send emails to support at snappy.com. So there are a lot of ways how you can ask your questions and get answers. Uh, anyone available by phone? 
Mm, we provide paid trainings in case you need more help. So, uh, what's a live incident? So, live chat is um, when you just um, open the window and chat with one of our uh, support people. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not. That's not what I asked. Uh, I, I asked, what is a live incident? You see, there's up to five live incidents. Uh, this is what I said. It's for live chat. So if you have questions, you can go back to us via live chat or emails, and we'll help you. If needed, of course, oh, we I can schedule a call and just discuss the questions you have and help you as much as we can. OK, so even though they may not be available by phone, your technical risk, your technical support mm -hmm. will respond within eight hours. Yep. Uh, no, uh, it means that it's available for eight hours per day. Okay. Yep. Twenty-four by seven, eight-hour response time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. What's the difference between the pricing on the two packages there? Well. I would advise you to send an email to sales at snappy.com and they will provide you any answers regarding our pricing. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All righty. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you for your questions. Okay. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for attending. And please join our next webinar, which will happen next Tuesday. In case you have any questions or need any help, just send an email to support at snappy.com and we'll be happy to help you with anything. Thanks again. Bye. Продолжение следует...